40 to 4 or less. Okay, so it's 5, so... Whew. What? What is it, Chun-Li? I'm playing here. I'm trying to be king. King is... I'm still alive, bitches! I'm still alive! Uh, the time is set for six... Uh, now we're gonna have time. After voting, nobody can change their mind and vote for different... Uh, yeah, I think we're gonna go with that. So you guys can actually change if you feel for it. See? I'm a benevolent god. It's back with... Ah, it was ads. Oh, there was... Oh my god, it was... Yeah, sorry, guy. Uh, my internet is shitty, so probably was that. That happened. Oh! Plague of Rats! Screaming Nightmares! Why the fuck do we have that? Baron Mehmet strides into the council chambers, distraught, waving a dead rat by its tail. That's one hecking way to make an entrance. The field and bonds of the march are overrun by vermins, and we no more poison for the horrible things. We can't cope anymore. Uh, Baron's getting their first event by pogging, indeed. Uh, take the rat and go. The marsh can handle this alone. Delivers a supply of rat poison. Send them a shipment of cats! Cats! I like that. Hires, then it's gonna sh fuck over the rest of the, uh, you know, ecosystem. Uh, hire some adventure to clear out the rodents. Yeah, sure, why not? Bing bing! Okay, guys, keep on voting! Yeah, you, you voted, you kill all the bees, now it's the rat's turn. Oh god, the ecosystem in uh, the marsh is gonna be fucked, oh my god. It's cat time! Whoa! Kittens! Let the rat die, and then pets you in. Oh, what about the rat poison? <laughs> uh, I like that, pets you in's like, but... Rat poison. Baron Memory bows to you deeply. Oh no, I need to pay for that? I thought they were gonna pay. You send a carrier on a cat over to the mark. By the time they reach the destination, they are both hungry and very angry. The perfect, perfect rat catching mindset. Wait to hear what happens. Soon the rats are gone and most house on the march are very set of a cat guarding the food. You hope kids don't become a problem. They will be. They will be. I don't want so, but uh, I think they will be. Shanley, please don't. Pay up. No, I don't want to pay! Cats are all the answer. Yeah, they kind of are. Screaming nightmare. Night of night, you suffer horrible. <gasps> Every night in the golden eye peels shrieking agony, leaving you waking up in shocking breath. The effects of the nightmare. No! My forehead is decreasing! Poopenstein? What on earth are you going? Oh, Shandy, please. I'm trying to play here. Get down. It's horrible. Yes, certainly. You're losing your dignity. I had dignity? I didn't know that. The servants are talking. You've been waking up screaming for weeks and just won't do. What will no think if you get wind of this? It's hardly proper. Now, what are these nightmares all about? It started when they destroyed the beast in the coast. I understand. It's a royal affliction. There's a mystic connection between royalty and the beast. And sleep is a bridge between the two. Oh no, it's the beast. It's the beast. Well, uh, I'm gonna take a moment. I need to go to the bathroom very quickly. I, be back. Be right back. Don't ruin the world while I'm gone for a few moments.
So, back again. Sorry about that, but my stomach is a mess. I ate strong food. I love strong food, but my stomach and ass don't. <laughs> okay. What have you guys talking about? Um, are, you, are you... Oh, God, you're trying to... You're trying to topple me again. Oh, my God. Stinky. Yes, I know! I am stinky! Don't underestimate bees. In the waking world, they are just insects, but legend tells in the world of dreams, they are far more powerful. Why would they attack me? I didn't kill them. It was the it was Nana and the Haku. You fall asleep. Uh, once again, terrible screens around you, drying into your skull. Uh, I refuse to apologize. Oh no, oh shit. Oh no, my 40. You struggled through the day of the council session, exhausted. One day you're tired that you slide off your throne. It's not your finest hour. But eventually nightmare fades, that, or you're so tired that you don't remember them. 
Oh my god. Why are you I mean, yeah, I guess I should be expecting that, you know. Don't I mean, I I I I I I I I I'm prideful king, you know? I will not bend my knees to bees. Did you I, I didn't really read no. I, I just saw don't apologize to bees and I'm like, I'm a warrior king, I don't apologize to bees. Your wedding to Clementine is natural the talk. If you like you're the one not taking part instead, you're ba 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 ba. Do you take this woman as your lawful wedded wife? Ah sure, why not? And I pronounce you king and wife. Huh? After the wedding, of course, there's a feast! Yay! Everyone, see, everyone except the uh, Counts are happy. By the time you find yourself alone, it's past midnight and you never felt more tired. You dance was so very, very beautiful. It was such a wonderful day, wasn't it? You enjoy a long conversation with Clementine. Seems determined to flat your relevance and agree with everything you say. Oh, God. Clementine is a real person concealed beneath a hundred layers of etiquette. Oh, yeah, God. Oh, my God. Wouldn't it be if I read anything through Con I mean, reading is overrated. And we can rule it by having his wife by all books in the kingdom. Oh, yeah, God. Back in the marsh, at the castle of Baron Mehmet, a number of figures crowd around unsuming barrels. Look here, our first shipment from Kerf. Incredible. May I see inside? Careful with a torch, you fool. You blow us out to smith. That, that, that is literally, you know, in Lord of the Rings, when um, Snake Tongue is there, like, uh, almost torching the, the gunpowder that uh, Saruman is working with, like, you idiot. So this is the fable black powder. Incredible powerful, but we'll need much, much more to put our you on the throne. For the next date, the Baron scheme they must raise the tray to five or more. Damn it, they're already there. Uh possession, lower your fate. They have done that. Lower the kingdoms at four to four. Damn. You guys, I guess cartoon characters blowing themselves up. Yeah, they're gonna be like you know, um, Wiley Coyote. And what is it, Chun Li? Blood money, rogue golem, an invitation. Okay, we're gonna start with the blood money. See what this is about. Ba -ba -ba -da -da. Mm. Mm. Excuse me. <laughs> nothing is wrong. Absolutely nothing is wrong in the East. <laughs> uh, things, it looks like a swallow the wasp. This is definitely not old witch who lives in the bottom of my land. The devil haven't been a money problem. And most importantly, she didn't offer me a fortune exchange for just a drop of blood. Okay. As my simple only two characters. Indeed. Mm -hmm. Betsy, what have you sacrificed your money to? Well, your blood bloodline. I'm throwing your foot. Ever since I didn't accept the witch bargain, I haven't found myself obeying her every command. Different still rule on my state, not her. Furthermore, she didn't forbid me telling you any of this, and I'm not using negative statement to bypass her magic. Oh my god. <laughs> Hang on, I was not thinking you mean the opposite of what you say. Let's have to call physician to see if you can lift the curse. Nah. Glad it cleared up! Gumby looks unaccountable miserable during your drinking session. What's his problem anyway? <laughs> I feel so bad. <laughs> oh no, poor Betsy like, oh no, please, I'm cursed, no! Come harvest, Betsy and farming, I lead a lot more than used to and the peasants are happier. In fact, everything going is great. There are some compl uh, complaints about the priest going missing, of course, and the shirts keep burning down, but you can't have everything. <laughs> oh my god. Pop bets you in. An invitation? Mm-hmm. He helped us. Wait, it did? What? Your Majesty, it's your honor, honor to invite you to the Lord's Hunt next year. The hunt will be taking place in late spring, so keep your schedule clear. 
but I must decline. Why does the Lord hunt? I look forward to it. Hunting for sport is cruel pain and intend to ban it. Ah, sure, why not? Of course, why wouldn't you? Okay, I don't trust you. Hmm. Well, damn you, potato! Don't see the positive in the misery I create. I see no good god here other than me. Yes. A rogue golem has crossed into our territory of the Ashmedean border, your majesty. This could be an exciting opportunity. Why did it cross it? It was instructed to dig a trench, but I've been not told when to stop. Wow. It had dug 16 miles further through the landscape and over to the border by the time we stopped it. Please, my leech, this is our chance to figure out how the golem magic works. We could never turn it against... We could even turn it against Ashmed. Your Majesty, the parents would drown your own grandmother to can't eat one of our match meat. We're over the counts and patricians. Gordons are an offense of the name of God and they're dangerous. We should destroy you before it gets out of control. Okay, use it as source labor, add it to the march, march army, take it apart and figure out the secret. Destroy it! I mean, I would prefer that. Okay, vote guys. You know, say the turn out behind wrong and you can use it as a weapon. Uh, yeah, you we can turn it out to, you know, add it to the army. <laughs> okay, we know, yeah. Yeah, obviously I can't suggest anything because no one would vote that anyways. Oh. Okay, so we got use it as labor. Burp, burp. A capital idea. We'll hook up in the meal, tell it to keep cranking and handling. Hey, presto, endless bread. <laughs> it works out exactly as described. The golem works tirelessly, grinding floor day and night. Damn. Oh my god, it got so much farming and... Oh no, they got the good trade. No, we didn't stop him. And hey, Stuffy. And the season has ended. Okay, guys, it's auction time. All stuff is with the March Gang. He's in, he's with Jacob and Mehmet. Okay, you see what you have here to spend your hard-earned cash. I will assume some of it is hard-earned, others is probably stolen, but you know, use it wisely. In sea, deer park. Oh dear! I found, <laughs> I found bees hundred k. <laughs> oh my God! Bessie is burning all his money on the observatory. On the observatory. F feeder. No, 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 no. You don't need to reduce my four of the. And yes, so you know, it's only the two that is leading that wins. So if you have an enough. Oh, it's your birthday stuff. Happy birthday, Stuffy. Ya mo haleva. Ya mo haleva. Hurrah, 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 hurrah. Gratis, Stuffy. Okay, so we build an uh, observatory and the Grand Bazaar. Happy birthday! Uh, terrible secret, Nani. Your Majesty, terrible news. The Count are deliberately eroding power of the Church in the East. What? Really? I hardly believe it myself, but even more like. What? Why are you surprising? They are a bunch of fucking vampires. Of course they do that. Oh, I need to make a pun. Um, let's see. <coughs> oh, God. Inquisi Inquisitor? What about the Outquisitor? You know, because they're outside. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, obese. Oh, God, that's a fat bee. Obese. 
Is, isn't that technically a bumblebee? The counts are planning to hollow your mind and summon a demon to fill the void and take it. How the heck did you learn that? With nothing but shell, the demon will take over body and soul. I need to fucking prevent that. No one expect the Spanish Inquisition. <laughs> Indeed. Uh, spread the word about the dangers of demons. Have the king in bath hold it twice. Delay scheme for one season. The counts are hardly a threat. Leave them to their business. You know what? I'm gonna take... I did... Oh, so that's how... Okay, that's how it works. Yeah, we, we're not gonna ignore the counts. So you guys can vote. But not C, because I removed that one. Nyeh, 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 nyeh. And have... Yeah, bath me in the holy water. Holy water! Holy moly! This is even... even Stevens. Uh, spread the word about the demons. It will decrease my 40 and I don't want that. So I'm gonna go with the, the holy water. Yes, it will de only delay the invaluable, but I will I will wait. I will survive. Still, you take no signs of positions. The Count's efforts have been hampered. Their stat goal will not be a value until the end of next season. Yeah. <laughs> oh, what did I click? About your air. Your marriage to Clementine is not what you hope. She seldom sleeps in your bed. Nani! And over breakfast you exchange only a few frosty words before she departs to the library. I mean, we can have sex in the library. I call that being book smart. I read that in a book once. The last thing in your mind is procuring an heir. But the needs of the kingdom must prevail. Congratulations! Oh, yeah, shut up, mom. I'm very happy, thank you. Yeah, but it's not important. Yeah, 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 whatever. You did so well, but Sophie's still missing. And Dude, yeah, that's, this is like sweet pressure, man. He's a young who's learned to assure the shell of your own of who do the trick. Even if they are bastards, the youngest of many cousins. Uh, I sh I'm pretty sure I have a bastard child lying around somewhere. I was gonna root around a little bit. I guess we're gonna. Traditional method, no one will object to that. I rent you take a month of ruling so you can uh -huh. go down to business to defeat the Hans. Did they send me daughters when I asked for sons? From needing about <laughs> Crusader King 2, yeah. Apparently all of the gathering be like, indeed, Mehmet, like, when are you getting grand- when when are we getting grandkids? Like, if you want grandkids, get them yourself. I don't want to bother with that. Losing your- in, l losing trust in your ad advice- advisor- in, in your advice- <laughs> fuck it. Your esteemed master, you must notice the king not exactly well lately. It's not your fault, of course. You're being led astray. By whom? The spy master, the council, the treasure, the marshal, all these unelected figures whispering in your ear who appointed them. Can you trust them? What's the alternate? You need some cause of Patricia to advise you. <laughs> we got the quick wits and common sense that our current advisor lack. I don't trust you. Indeed, you'd be fooled to trust me right now. Just give me the chance to show how you cause a loyalty means and think about what I said, your supreme majesty. A few moments later, after Lord Patricia and Chris and Anaya slipped out of the throne room, your cancer box in looking flustered. Your Majesty, the Patricia have been spreading rumors about well about me. What I've been just saying. Big brain Nana indeed. Why are we learning about the Queen not wanting the king's staff? I mean, uh. They said I'm scheming from the treasure. They curse me of being drained all back with an unquenchable thirst for blood. Me? I'll kill them all. I mean, that might be some truth, though. I wonder what they said about me. It hurt my feelings. <laughs> it seems to turn nobles against us. Trouble is, it's working. The council are demanding our resignation. I don't know how much longer we can weather this storm. Aw. We'll be gone within the next few months unless you do something about it. Call a vote and get the council back on our side. Order the patrician to apologize for spreading ugly rumors. 
Launch an inquiry to provide uh, to uh, to prove your advice is innocent. Do nothing. Uh. Oh God. I want to marry the spy master. Oh no. Yeah, go for it. Vote A. Vote A. Vote A. Don't. No. No. Don't C. No C. We need to stop. No. We need. <laughs> Thank you, Betsuin. Everyone else is voting C. No, my sweet counsel. Last big mistake was to ask. I mean. Whatever I'm asking, people gotta vote otherwise, anyways. I have a. It's like trying to control uh, a bunch of nuclear bombs, you know? You're gonna blow up in my face. With the council choosing not to intervene, the rumors spread like wildfire. Soon more half the kingdom is convinced that your advice must resign. Oh no! This is not good. An insidious plot. Somewhere along the coast, Lord Patricia Nana strolls in his olive grove, accompanied by a close friend. The Nymph God has finally answered our prayers, my friend. The council demands the king advises to resign, and the king is too weak to resist. Our replacements are waiting in the wings. Once our advisors surround to the king, we will have complete control of that of what he hears. We will shape his reality. We would treat the king like a mushroom. Oh, keep him dark and feed him. Oh man, that's dude. That's 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 awful, man. That's awful. And yeah, and for chat one can if I vote a, uh, I must be. <laughs> yes, I I offer one k in uh, in game money. No, let's not be vulgar. The question is, what do we do with the control? Oh God, uh, turn the king into a useless figurehead. Force the king to ab abdicate in the favor of the claimant. So guys in the green team, Haku and Nana get to vote here. Awful like how Lana treats his mod except for the food part. What do you mean? I gave you food? Raise the building Elna. We turn the king into a powerless little puppet dance. Puppet dance. Somewhere it's scary how much you get into this. <laughs> no, no, no! <laughs> now the kingdom must return to prosper prosperity and we will ensure we get all the credit. The council will see this as a demonstration of our competence. They'll insist on sweeping out the old god. At that point, we won. For the final stage, the scheme, the protection must raise the bill to at least 10. Who? Yeah, you guys have a quite bit to go there. It's only on four. Holy, yeah, it's a word that I have a fan. Imagine that I'm holding that my love. Oh God. Yeah, you know what? Screw you, patricians. I'm gonna, you, you gonna pay. Yeah, no, good luck. Yeah, indeed. That's a lot of stability you need to get there. Undercutting? I want to speak to you today about a delicate matter, your most august ma- Yeah, suck it up, buttercup. I know you're just trying. It concerns the iron trade, you might explain. Is it really that important? Oh yes, very, very much so. You see, the ease is vast and full natural reserve. Iron being one of the most bountiful. Counts make a killing of it. I mean, killing isn't that literal what to do. And of course, we need iron more than barons. How else would they make the world famous weapons and armor? The amateur steel industry practically relies on good relations with the counts. Traditionally, we patricians have facilitated this trade. Yet no barons buy from the counts directly. They're cutting us out of the deal. You can't let them get away with it. Your serene highness, please just call council vote, will you? Uh, let's see. Um, I lose. I get trade is defiance. Uh, you know what? 
Fuck you! Bah, what a waste of time! Uh, uh, fuck you, Nana! Eat my middle fingers! You allow the region to do business like this means the patrician will lose the grip on the mon monopoly, of course, but that's no concern of yours. Indeed, it's not. Oh shit, the merchant got a lot of trading there. <laughs> Horrible hunting. Well, haunting. During meeting with the Council of Nova, a commotion erupted. Stuffy lets out a piercing scream. <laughs> By the name of Great God, it's here! It's here! The Great Coming! He faints, falling away to the ground with a crash. Oh, he will be fine. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, ah, Stuffy will be fine. Don't worry, he do this all the time. He comes over here screaming and fainting every fucking Wednesday. It's it's just it's just what he do. I thought I'd be safe here, but unfortunately, when we built the Grand Basama land, some manner of spectre was disturbed, and it's made its me its target. Why would a ghost care about you? Yeah, no one died yet. Last time everyone fucking died every time. Ugh, are we really entertaining this nonsense? Here's neck. Here, uh, I hear voices you match a little pimpering at the back of my mind. We are too old for campfire tale stuffy. I beg you, your highness, and gather the nobles, come to my aid. Okay, send Inquisition to exercise the site, research the land. Uh, the Grand Bazaar was built. Ignore the situation, all will be fine. Okay, guys, vote. Oh no, yeah, stop it. You just came here and, like, no, turning insane right away. <laughs> Ignore the situation. Wow, what a surprise. Everyone just wants to turn a blind eye to the problem that haunts us. That sounds so realistic. And it seems like. We're gonna ignore it. Ignore it. It will be fine. Great God, why this confounding cause never take Baron seriously? He zooms out next. Last <laughs> behind his hand. <laughs> oh God. Best of Behold, Your Highness. Stuff puts aside a tarpaulin to reveal a granite study of Baron Mehmet. The study's impeccable detail is expressed a frozen grimace. A sad sight is not. That's not a statue, is it? Astutely observed, these are all the remains of my fellow Baron. What? Is it the stone made is a broad and mar Wait, did did <laughs> did Mehmet die? <laughs> She's a walking statue with burning yellow eyes. All, all who meet her gaze are turned to stone. She sleeps for years at the... Oh, so she's an uh, Medusa. She must have ambushed Baron Mehmet on his latest hunting trip. Please, your majesty. Baron Mehmet has died. <laughs> Bar Mehmet, Mehmet Narukami 85 the second has joined. <laughs> I mean, that would happen when you stone too much. Hire a wizard to take care of this. Send an army to smash this thing to rubble. Tell everyone in the march to hide. Consult the fairy tales for a solution. Oh my god. All these options sounds amazing. She's an SCP indeed. I can see that. <laughs> Consult the fairy tales. <laughs> Go to the fairy tale! Fairy tale machine! AKA the library. Let's see what we can learn. Wee wee wee. Vote a vote the okay. We seem like we're gonna check the fairy tales. I'm gonna see what happened from D. Yeah, and it seems like it's gonna be. We're gonna consult the fairy tales. You send an expert folklorist from Quile University. According to the legends, the stone maiden always stay far in land, away from the shore. Perhaps there's something there. That's the solution, a saline solution. She must react badly to seawater. You send a squad of knights, each armed with a blindfold and a bucket of seawater. 
to your great surprise, it works. What? <laughs> as soon as she's drenched, the stone maiden shrieks and flee back to her underground lab, where she falls into mortal slumber. What? Stability! No, we don't want more stability! Oh, God! And hey, yeah, gaming assassin. Holy moly, we got nine nobles in going in here now. Okay, we got end season here. Inviting a demon. A count rides to remote, unremarkable spot on moorland. Soon another joins him. <laughs> yes. Many subs have come moving east as they lose, lose fate in the shash. Priests daren't show their face in public. Farming is now ramp <laughs> rampant farming. What is up with potato and getting lots of farming going? Most pleasant. This is perfect time to make sure our next move. We must invite a demon to possess the king. The ancient books describe two demons, each attracted to a different aspect of the human mind. Oh god. Purple team? Uh, Rachamasa, the mad tyrant, the cockroach queen. Well, I do like the cock. Uh, Murmuriach, Duke Agree, the face of all coins. That sounds rich. I'm now a greedy merchant. <laughs> well, aren't we all? <laughs> we all greedy merchants here. And it is... Okay, so we got... Where did the potato go? Okay, potato, there he is. Um, yeah. We get us, yeah. We get us summon a cockroach. D dude, you guys are helping the king. Uh, po potato. Last time you summoned another bug demon. What is up with you and bug demons? The cockroach queen, queen was once favored servant of Nimgod, but then she betrayed him. He banished her to her deepest caves, where she became a twisted agent of the Seventh. She decides to rise to power once more. She will be attracted to a powerful king whose authority is unquestioned. For the final stage, the scheme to come must raise a fourth at least six. Dude, that is nothing compared to <laughs> Nana and Gang yet. Can I change team? I don't think you can. Lower it to one. Why did we get? Yeah, that's 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 just that's mean, man. How nobles chose to vote is hidden from the monarch's view. Time is set to fifteen. Uh, if the nobles vote for the select option, if the nobles vote others, uh, sure, why not? Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna keep the law I have. I I, I don't care so much about the others. Gunpowder smuggling? No! <laughs> uh, yeah, potato being caught being frisky with ants in our castle. Yeah, that that neck that explain everything. Well, we're gonna have an explosive part going here. Your Highness, the barrels of March are attempting to mass and store of gunpowder. You know, the explosive black powder from Cuff. Where can I get some of that? Curve is the only place that produces large quantities, your majesty. The Republic is very careful controlling their supply and unfortunately they are rapidly anti-monarchist. Ah, oh, that's a problem for me. The barons have established a contract with curved merchants, no doubt great expense. Without the coin to purchase more powder, however, their plot will fail. Unfortunately, the barons trade is booming. They're no doubt stockpiling massive amount of gunpowder. You bring the revelation, which barons wholeheartedly deny to the council. Slap heavy tariffs on all imports to the marsh. Yes. Fred and Curve with a sanction for supplying gunpowder to the barons. Delay scheme. Uh, allow the barons. You know what? We're gonna go with that. We're not gonna allow you to bring in whatever you want. Slap heavy tariffs or Fred and Curve. Can I get the trade down enough? Let both be. No. And you're not allowed to import Jacob. You guys have imported enough gunpowder. I'm just saying. You guys have enough gunpowder for two centuries, I think. 
And we're saying we're supplying gunpowder to the barons. But, but, I mean, I agree, explosives are cool. But not when I'm the one about to explode, you know, I'm just saying. When I said I want to blow up on the internet, I don't mean literally with a dynamite up my ass. That's not the thing I want. The gunpowder important slowed to a trickle, but hasn't stopped. The Baron's stat goal will not be evaluated until the end of next season. <laughs> Only Badger invited for the cause. Yeah, he's like, I'm going for it! The Lord Hunt. Okay, how is this gonna go bad? After several days riding along muddy roads, you have arrived at the marsh for the Lord Hunt. What weapon did you bring for the occasion? A crossbow or spear or so. Oh yeah, have you heard about the guy hunting with a sword? Plus poop kingdom explosion, explosive diarrhea. Well, that's true. <laughs> the shitting is happening. You know what? I'm gonna be the first hunter running around trying to hunt down an uh, animals with a sword. And what animal did you bring to help you catch your prey? <laughs> Pack of welter. I can't. <laughs> yes, I'm gonna take the cat. <laughs> The cat. Ah, your majesty, please, you can make... Ah, there's Jacob, even. I see you brought a sword, a brave choice, your majesty. I hope you know how to use it. No, I don't. And you brought... Is that the cat? <laughs> well, now you've got a... Bomb. What were you hoping to hunt with that thing? Mice? <laughs> Dude, don't underestimate the cat. It's tea for Shanley, indeed. I gotta put Chun-Li in a cage <laughs> match against the porno. <laughs> oh god, those woods are teeming with game, your majesty. As the king, it's up to you to what we hunt. Uh, the white heart? What the fuck is that? You might even hunt a dragon and one, that would be... Okay, just because Mehmet mentioned a Shan li versus a boar, we're gonna chase a boar. The boar, an admirable choice, a fearsome beast, especially when cornered. A big white dare. Oh, is that what it is? Uh, Jacob lifts his horn to his lips and blows. Mm, my, that's some nice blowing techniques you have there. Producing a sound that scared the bird from the surrounding trees. Let the Lord Hunts commence! You'll spare your horse on fruit on the ground, your sword ready. Your cat is nest itself in a cell bag, fast asleep. <laughs> <laughs> You're a brave man tonight, your majesty. Don't hunt bow with a sword. <laughs> One more move and those will tear your guts. And now I'm sure what to expect that cat to do. Don't underestimate my pussy! I'm just saying! I'm very good at blowing things. True, true, true. You ride on and then there's a grunting noise from the bushes and something crashes through the leaves. Something big. Oh my. Um. <laughs> Swing your sword widely. 10% chance. You know what? I like to live dangerous. I'm gonna do this. 10% chance. If I succeed on this, it's a fucking legend! No! Snorri is squealing and roll over you with a huge tusk. As a bullet lifts tusk finish bow, the Baron Dween drives away with a spear, clutching deep wound in your side. Bloody hellfire! Are you right, Majesty? Ah. Oh. Dang, I hope you don't die. Yeah, that would be sad. I mean, everything hurts. <laughs> You're too injured to ride home, so the Baron carry you back on a makeshift stretcher. The physician is confident you will live, but warn you not to go hunting again anytime soon. As you rest, rumors sweep the king that you die. A few weeks later, when you're finally strong enough to ride back to the capital, you'll find a seat in a state of panic. The Barons at least respect your courageous failure. <laughs> oh, my, 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 my stability decreased. Yes! Yeah, you guys never gonna get the stability. <laughs> ah. Though I almost died trying to stab a boar with a sword. Your Highness, ignoring the ghost of my grandmother's only mad at Oh god, it's the stuff and his ghost again. Ugh. Sonic Cat was accurate, big brain move from. <laughs> yeah, you know, never underestimate that. That damn ghost again! I'm a leech, I'm afraid so! I never thought the Baron would be so overwrought! Is there even a proof of this so called ghost pressures? Let's keep ignoring the ghost. <laughs> I feel bad for stuffing, like, oh no, the ghost driving me mad! Every time I visit the Grand Bazaar, 
A terrible cold spread down my back of my neck and I hear a voice calling my name. He claims to be my great great uncle Friedrich, who died last century in a dreadful hunting accident. Wait, are you mocking me because I almost died in a hunting accident? See, if I don't pay attention, my lineage will be doomed and my name dishonored. Very well, let's call a vote. Please, your majesty. Okay, okay. Can I always ask a normal... Yeah, they, they are. They really are. Uh, hire adventure to deal with it. Tell Baron Stuffy to offer something valuable to appease the ghost. If the ghost wants Baron Stuffy to listen, he should do so. Destroy the Grand Bazaar. You guys, get in voting. What is the fate of this? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Destroy the Grand Bazaar. The barons uh, offer some wealth to piece the ghost. Like your life. And what did you do? Just say to me a little bit. <laughs> I was almost tusked by a fucking boar. And that was borderlining murder, I'm just saying. Okay, so we're gonna destroy the Grand Bazaar. Perfect. Then Stuffy might cool down a bit. You don't need to cruise, uh, cruise and stuff a land with a wig. Soon the grandma starts nothing but rubble. You can all hope the ghost is gone for good. Destroy the bazaar! Let's see. Oh, we're in the season. Oh no. Uh, raise the kingdom to six, let ten. Oh my god, I can't win this. Still, well, yeah. Blah. You are. Uh, your quest for now is finally complete. You stand before Council holding a small child in your arms. Should I die? Ask my crown to be passed down to. I literally just put my hand up my wife's vagina, pull out the kid, like, Look at this child that is my offspring! This is my demon spawn! And what about nuking the ghost? Uh, nukes would, would work. My child! The design air, you have cemented a step in. <laughs> oh, wait. This is a play with a brother king of the castle. They can see. Ah! Noble patrician, the gaming is a. Your esteemed highness, may I be the first to congratulate you on the birth of your child? What's their name? Poopenstein the <laughs> second. Yes, assassin, I can see that. Yeah! Thank you! This is my child! Yeah, the ghost reborn as my kid. <laughs> Excellent, your serene highness. I'm sure little Poopenstein second grew up to be a ship of the old block. The booming crop and a peasant uprising. Why does this seem very counter against each other? Pay to win. <laughs> your majesty, the jewels of an Egypt farms are extraordinary. I never seen like this. The peasants are practically drowning in cabbages. My cabbages! The cabbage guy in the Avatar would love this place. They even hybridize a new variant of pest resistant copy that cures nightmares. What? We must assemble a team of our finest uh, nerds to the university. By the blood of the dead? Wait a moment, you can spread a secret to just anyone? I'll have you know that I produce it very much in demand. We're just in the middle of a securing cabbage trade agreement with Tavalin. This egghead could disrupt things terribly. Oh my. <laughs> yeah, you're a little, little, little poop nugget indeed. Oh, my little poop nugget. I'm so proud of you. Pay the counts to accommodate the scholars. Brave the scholars of fast track to Tavalin deal. Claim the hybrid cabbage for the kingdom and distribute widely. Oh my. Okay. What are you guys voting? Um. I wouldn't... Oh, yeah, I could see that. Yeah, I could see that. Increase... Try... They are so desperately trying to raise their stability. Desperation. <laughs> we must sell the cabbages! We need all the cabbages we can get. Probably it's called fast track to... Oh, my lord. You guys are so sneaky. 
Oh well. Doo doo. The easing trade agreement with Tavolin goes ahead with great fanfare. Pop pop. Soon wag wagon loads of cabbage trundle back and forth, bringing vast profit with them. I wrote the secret hybrid for the first time. The patrician and barons are not pleased. Oh, well, when I, when are people ever happy? Everyone is fucking upset, spaghetti. The patrician hybrid has their own cabbages to rival those who count, but the first crop costs terrible hallucination. <laughs> um, what? Why is that negative? You have literally made fucking LSD. LSD cabbages. Dude. We're getting high. Nana, fuck you. Nana, you guys can get high, man. Yeah, I'm just saying. The peasant uprising. A band of peasant of stage and uprising in the east. You got. Oh my god, Shandy, please. What is it? In the dead of night, I stormed the castle of my good friend Count Neck and his family Count left <laughs> languishing in his own dungeon. Ah, that where usually potato is. Yeah, LSD cabbages. That's gonna sell. <laughs> These cabbages are getting differently, bro. What caused the peasant rebel? Oh, the usual complaint. The person kills Count Neck of watching devil and eating children. <laughs> Typical superstition nonsense. Uh, Neck, is that what you do normally? <laughs> I guess she's mad you agreed to put her against She didn't even do anything. She was sleeping in a bag. I was the one that almost died. They bribed some of the guards. They also seem to have brand new well forged weapon bikes and stored mostly. I have no idea where they found the money. What are the peasants? They want Cuck Neck, Cunt Neck uh, to be stripped of his ass with his land divided among the peasantry. I was paying attention. What did I do? Uh, peasant up, uh, peasant do an up, uh, well, an uproar, and um, you and your family is now in dungeon. In return, the rebel will free him and spare his life. Okay, guys, send an army to siege the castle. Give the peasant what they want. Pretend to accept the demands, then kill them when they leave the castle. Okay, this eighty shield now that's something to accuse account for. <laughs> I just see that neck is eating shield ring. Nom, 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 nom. This is what you call a happy meal. <laughs> mm, the kid's liver is the best. Nom, 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 nom. Give the person what they want. Oh, oh! <laughs> I love how all of the counts is voting C, and then pretty much the rest is like B. <laughs> Sacrifice. Get the four down. Boop, boop. Predictably, the decision to grant the peasant what they want met with a consternation and outrage by the counts. Who cares about the counts? They are monsters. They're taking fortress by force, and you want to give in to their demands? As promised, Count Neck is stripped of his property and his extensive land are split between the peasantry. Oh, he lost all his money. I feel bad for Neck, man. But you're still alive. I'm just saying. Somewhere in a dark cellar, a nervous baron is showing his guests a stupendous cage, a uh, catch of explosive gunpowder. Behold! Great God! By my life, black gold dust. And what are those things? Ah, oh, that's my cocaine. Cannons, my good friend. Cannons! And muskets, too. Courts of the Republic of Kerf. They were very happy with our business. Now decide what to do with all of it. Once we show our hand, they're no going back. Oh god. Uh, red team, voting time. Sneak the gunpowder under the palace and blow them all sky high. That sounds very fun. Put all the cannons and muskets to good use. Go raise your own military. So either raising military or raising stability. Ah, uh, B, so far. Okay, they're voting in B. I thought you were gonna go with, uh, you know, blowing up things, but uh, you cowards going with cannons and muskets. Doo -doo. With the explosive weapon, we'd be unstoppable on the battlefield, but we need to make sure we have troops for them. Then we step up our recruitment. For the final stage, the scheme must raise the military at least nine, and you're on seven, so you just need two more. So that's not too bad. We blow things up far away. Okay, once again, time for your funding, guys. Have fun. Eh? 
<laughs> we might be bomb heads, but we may be patient bomb heads. Okay, start auction now. Bing dong, ding 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 dong. I mean, I would be at, like decrease the military. Mm -hmm. I like it so many that have the counts have barely no. Well, the counts have zero money now. <laughs> Wow, everyone is going ham. Everyone is spending their their their, their hard-earned money. Why does Stuffy have so much money? What have Stuffy done? Stuffy, what have you done to get all that money? What kind of demons have you been spawning with to get that? Count Fun C. <laughs> yeah. I found B A. Oh. Okay, so we increased ability. Ironically, it seems like Nana and Gang is closer to win now than any other one. <laughs> Your ambitions call for apprentice uh, fossil unearthed. Okay, we're gonna go with my ambitions. Mm -hmm, yes. At the start of your reign, you said you want to be a conqueror, but so far you're not convinced anyone. The kingdom army is mediocre at best. Your Majesty, you won't be doing any conquering anytime soon. Your current ambition isn't working out for you. If you want to stop the noble from overthrowing, you need to pivot, change your image. But in each region, with loyal spies defeat their schemes. Oh, okay. Your Majesty, we will help us spread the seal of name good. The shirt will end your support! With the backing of the shirt, the new we wouldn't dare to move against us. The commonly folk are sleeping giant that even noobs are afraid to wake. If you have become beloved by the peasants. Is a red fool, have you heard the scepter of sa scepter of sages? It's lost eyes, okay. Um uh, Let's see. Okay, let's go become wise decision. Your Majesty will begin uh, recruit tank cries showed by your achievements to the masses. But first, you need some actual achievements uh, as much as you can. And of course, there can't be any open rebellion among the nobles. I guess. Mm hmm. And hey, Siri, how is it? Oh, yeah, you're getting close now. Good news, your your Argos Majesty. The new library is wonderful popular. We already begun an expansion. There is a small problem. While taking for finding build, uh, foundation building, found bones in the rock. From the size of the thing, the beast can come from much larger than the library itself. Like a giant spooky scary skeleton? <laughs> <laughs> they lower their voice. The people are saying that might be, you know, a Flying reptile. No one does say the name these days. It's been 700 years since a dragon was seen in the kingdom, and back then it was catastrophic. Carry on building. Who cares about some old fossils? Carefully excavate the bones. Don't mess with dragons. Abandon the library entirely. Yeah, well, well. Spooky, scary skeletons. Dragon being big. Dragons are scary. They are very hungry. <laughs> Get stability down. Yeah, I'm happy someone else is actually working to try to prevent um, Nana and uh, the uh, uh, partitions to win. And not just me. I'm trying to be king. Boink, boink, boink. Excavate the bones. Oh my god. Builder dig the bones from the rock, soon the huge bones are revealed. As a visit the crowd aside, trade picks up merchants set up stop peddling hastily writing pamphlets on dragon bones. But despite the rise in tourism, some coastal lo locals are superstitious, reading the bones with fear. Oh no! Fear! Fear the bones! Until I say, okay, sorry, but you can always join whenever you feel like it. Toby is the mad king with us. No, I'm not mad. You guys are mad. 
tidings, your grace. A redling wizard in Chensk. I believe it's Brzkt, the Lord of Balls. Oh, bells. Brzkt of Balls, bells. Why is this a problem? Try to put out a call for a new apprentice, which is a rare event. This is one life opportunity for many. Drows of unwashed glory seeking labor from all over the east are lining up for a better chance. Not just peasant, I, Stuffy, have also decided to apply. The competition will be fierce, but those peasants are no match. I will be the most powerful noble this council have ever seen. I just imagine Stuffy from seeing ghosts and demons to buy. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna be wizard. I'll watch. Ah, as long as you enjoy yourself, Sari. I hope you're taking it cool. Are you all equal close to achieving our goals? Yeah, it seems to be everyone is very close. You? You couldn't put on your clothes <laughs> it was your servant's help. <clears throat> we can't let this go ahead. To have a potential wizard on council would present clear and danger of conflict of interest. Yeah, and we shall assemble the council. Thank you, Majesty. Allow Baron Stuffy to become Brzgt apprentice. Require he forfeit his noble title in order to become an apprentice. Forbid Stuffy from traveling to Shensk. Oh man, Stuffy's in the limelight here. We all three points away? Oh, I think so. Take all his money! <laughs> Stuffy, you're gonna take all his money. Do they even have any money left? You guys burned all your money on the nothingness. Oh, yo, 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 yo. This is even. This is even Stevens. I still have 500. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna let Bar uh, Stuffy become Birskit apprentice. Why not? By the blood of the dead! How will he keep up this noble duty with spending all his time in the east with this wizard? And what if Nymphy preserve as he actually passes his apprenticeship? There has never been a wizard in the council before. You never know, he might be living things up around. He has to do cross when he comes in, yeah. There's nothing to fear from me, your highness. I always have the kingdom interest in heart, even as a wizard. So I said, off immediately to his journey to the east. Stuffy could become a real magical girl, indeed. <laughs> uh, Blizzard's present chance to attract also the visitor, though the power of the light and magic start to wield crops for miles around. Oh no, not the, not the crops. Uh, let's see here. Oh god. Yeah, you know what? I'm gonna tax the marsh. <laughs> take the money! I take your money. Time to get muggy money. <laughs> now you can combat the ghost in his indeed using magic. Fear the bones! You esteemed highness, the reptilian bones, the people are terrified that fire will descend upon the coast. Those forgotten take matter into their own hand and destroy the library if not careful. A, re a rebury the bones out of sight, out of mind. I mean, that sounds true. The patrician should offer the peasant a bribe. Move the bones to a coastal vault. Yeah, I guess you guys vote. Not the library! See, sounds nice. Move the bone to go to vault. Ah, seem to be between A and C. Oh, the C is taking over. Rip. Uh. Whilst as they are exca excavating the bones, it's no small feat. A long caravan of wagons drags them to the museum where curators display the bones in a giant room. They are nervous about showing the dragon's real shape, but the base wings that spread across the raft is impossible to hide. The builds return to their work, eventually library extension is completed. The patrician are grateful to have matter resolved, but the people are still afraid. They whisper that the foolish display bones so openly. Ah, 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 ah. Dissonant in the arena. Oh, you have an arena? 
A cult of Glenn named Onyx has become remarkable pop in the arena. I heard he threw an old ox across the stadium. Oh, damn. He's throwing even bigger words around these days. In the last match, he donned the crown and claimed he would be a better monarch than you would ever be. He's all joke for now, but still sed seditious. And he has a significant following. He or the other gladiators, or even the patrician at large, may decide to take this further. Oh, my. Execution! Depths below, since when does the king of the insane have an arena? It's Rainy's behavior. The gaming assassin and their friends grumble and mutter. Blah, blah, blah. It all comes down to the council decisions. Leave Onyx to, uh, however he please. Noble patrician uh, gaming assassin shall fight Onyx in the ring. Oh! The king will watch Onyx next bout, intimidating him to silence. Arrange an accidental f an accident for Onyx. Uh, yeah, we, we can have... Like that. Okay, okay. I want to see what happens here. Oh my god. Gaming assassin. <laughs> well, is it like what's gonna happen here? Why are you all like... Dude, gaming assassin. This chat is not to be played with. They are a menace. We are all evil here. What do you mean? But I'm a noble! Time to run up and get out of there. Don't be coward. Nobles have fought in the arena before. You'll do great! Noble gaming says a hurry away. Over the coming week, they train beneath the best mercy and money can buy. By the time the battles arrive, gaming assassin is ready for action! Oh no! He picks them up and gently plays them back in the spec to see apparently that was where they belong. The whole thing is such an embarrassment that the Patrician refuses to do anything more about Onyx. His outspoken performance continue unabated. Oh my. Oh my. But you know what? I actually need to cut for now. And we're gonna try to continue this on very soon. I hopefully getting more of this game done. And we're gonna see what will happen next time. Seriously though, it's been super fun. And uh, hopefully you guys can join in for next time. And continue this mad lad run. I really hope so. I'm sorry for this, but we're going to continue on next time.